Hi, I'm Narali, and this is my audition for the Less Than Famous panel. And I generally make videos a lot longer than four minutes, so I'm just gonna speed this up a bit. The first question is, what does success on YouTube mean to you? Success on YouTube means making content that I like, first of all. It means making content that I can look back on and say, yeah, I used my voice in the best way that I could. And of course, it means resonating with other people and having amazing conversations and discussions. I swear, I have the best commenters in the world. Success on YouTube also does mean getting more subscribers and having more people resonate with what I say, but it's not my number one goal. My number one goal is to enjoy myself on YouTube. Question two, how do you find community slash friends slash purpose on YouTube? I find community and purpose and friends by just watching video. The one video that got me over 100 subscribers was a video response to Meow, it's Lucy and Kelly Kitagawa called Why is YouTube White? I like to participate in discussions across YouTube. I also love bringing my own life experiences to these discussions because I think it's important to understand all people's stories. Question three, how do you handle how large the platform has grown? I don't really handle how large the platform has grown. It doesn't really affect me that much. I only follow people whose content I enjoy. That could range from someone with 7 million subscribers to someone with 7 subscribers. It doesn't particularly matter to me. And because of how large the platform is, everyone can find what they're looking for, which I love. Question 4. How do you stick out in a sea of so many creators? I enjoy being a fish in the sea. I don't want to be a big blue whale that everyone kind of constantly looks at and scrutinizes. I kind of like being in my little corner of the internet. I think I stick out by remaining true to myself, making content I enjoy, and making content that can keep the discussion going because that's... I like talking. <laughs> I like listening to the sound of my own voice talking about ideas. If, if what I say resonates with someone, they'll come my way eventually. I'm in a tiny corner of YouTube, which is why it makes it harder sometimes for people to find me, but when they do, you know, I'll welcome them with open arms. Question five, has this increasing amount of people ex affected your experience on the platform? As a YouTube watcher, I think it's harder to find creators that I enjoy watching. There are so many freaking people out there that I can't it, it's almost overwhelming and also YouTube tends to promote their larger creators and I you know get that why find new creators when the successful creators are already making bank for you the good part is that the increasing amount of people on the platform means more people who look at these success stories and start to make videos and connect with others which is how I got started and finally question six what are some of the privileges of being a smaller creator? Uh, I feel like I outlined some of them, but the main thing is I can do whatever I want. Uh, while I'm a YouTube partner, I don't make any profit off of be being on YouTube and making videos. It's what I do for fun. It's a release for me. I don't rely on it for income. I don't have a network to please or a big audience to risk losing. The people who come to watch me have come because they already watch like-minded people. I feel like I'm allowed to explore new ways of communicating through video and doing so without alienating my viewers. I think that's what's wonderful about being a small YouTuber, as well as making friends. There are a lot of friends that I've made through small YouTube because it's easier to access them. I really hope you enjoyed my audition for the Less Than Famous panel. I will see you guys next time. Bye!